This massive cyclotron is too big for a single floor of a building and too big to be delivered through doorways. So construction of additional building space is the only way. And the cyclotron is lowered into its new home at Mercy Hospital St. Louis. Not only is cyclotron a cool name, but what it does as a particle accelerator is pretty exciting too. Everything about this hinges on the proton found in the nucleus of the hydrogen atom, the simplest atom in nature. The proton is the positively charged molecule. We can extract that proton from hydrogen gas to create this very steady beam, which we use to target cancer. This form of radiation treatment is called proton therapy. As the Division Chief of Radiation Oncology at Mercy Hospital St. Louis, Dr. Robert Frazier is proud of the newest addition to the David C. Pratt Cancer Center. The powerful cyclotron produces proton particles, generating high energy beams of protons to tumors. It's what's called a pencil beam scanning technology that has a targeted delivery system. It's called a pencil beam because it's only a few millimeters wide, the width of a pencil. It's the most precise form of external radiation therapy that we have. Since this is the newest proton center in Missouri, it has all of the state-of-the-art accessories you need to deliver precise radiation therapy. The infrared camera array tracks breathing motion so patients don't have to hold their breath during radiation. It's actually tracking the tumor and the patient. Once delivered, protons interact with electrons in the atoms of cancer cells. A series of interactions leads to damage in the DNA of the cancer cell, resulting in cell death, killing cancer. The cyclotron delivers the proton beam at hyperspeed with superior precision, sparing healthy tissue. There's different kinds of radiation therapy and most radiation machines use x-rays and those x-rays pass into the patient, treat the tumor, but then those x-rays pass beyond the tumor through the patient. Proton therapy is different. The proton beam passes into the patient, treats the tumor, but then there's no exit dose. So all the dose is delivered to the tumor and there's no dose beyond that. That allows us to spare the normal tissues of the radiation. Pencil beam proton therapy is used to treat complex cancers because of its unparalleled precision, which may be the only hope for some patients. And so it's ideal for patients who have tumors close to normal critical structures. So if a patient has a brain tumor that's near their eye or near their brain stem, proton therapy is great for that patient. And actually, it's great for a lot of patients. We can use proton therapy for lung cancer, esophageal cancer, patients with breast cancer. We use it for pancreas cancer, liver cancers, spine cancers. We can use it for prostate cancer. We can use it for any cancer in the body. We've seen patients who have received prior radiation and they were told by other radiation oncologists that they were not candidates for additional radiation. But with proton therapy, you can do that. You can treat just the tumor and keep the radiation off of those normal tissues that have already received radiation. And proton therapy is beneficial for children with cancer. So children who have cancer, they're more susceptible to the effects of radiation. So if we can minimize the radiation to the normal tissues in a child, we need to do that. The Mercy Proton Therapy Center is a major accomplishment as it's only one of 40 proton centers in all of the United States. And it's no wonder the cyclotron, with all of its parts, takes up three full stories of building space. This technology has required over eight decades of advancement, and that's because the first proton vaults and the signature of the facility was over a football field in size. 
we've been able to shrink through technology advances the size of the proton ball from a football field down to about 3,000 square feet. You have to have these massive arms to control the movement of that cyclotron. Those arms are about 60 feet long and they're about 30 feet wide at, at the end. That's why it takes three stories. In order to generate that proton particle, you have to have miles of tubing and miles of cable. Actually, there's a thin wire on the inside of the cyclotron that's 26 miles long. It's super thin, but that allows us to then spin that proton around and around, and then when it gets close to the speed of light, that's when the beam comes out. All of that to deliver a treatment into one proton therapy room, one patient at a time. And patients never see any of this because it's on the other side of the walls. Patients will only see a little nozzle that can spin like this. Treating its first patient on July 5th, the center is now open.